Shalom, shalom, salam alaikum, ni hao and mabuhay Pilipinas. This is Mariam and I'd like to do another communion with you in behalf of my husband Musab Hassan Yusuf. Okay, so we have prepared the bread and the wine and the compass pointing towards Lebanon or Jerusalem. And I will be reading from our church Bible study app together. Uh, it's a Bible study guide. And today we are reading from Hebrews 6 verse 13 to 20. For when God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself saying, Surely I will bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently waited, obtained the promise. For when people swear by something greater than themselves, and in all their disputes, an oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise, the unchangeable character of his purpose, he guaranteed it with an oath, so that by two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to hold fast to the hope set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtain, where Jesus had gone as a forerunner on, on our behalf, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Amen and Amen. Thank you, Father. For the body of Yeshua, your son, that was broken for us. And thank you for the blood that he shed on the cross, represented by this wine. For the remission of our sins. And as I take this body of Christ and drink the, his blood, I proclaim his death and his resurrection until he comes again. And I hold fast the promise that you have set before me that you will marry me to Musab Hassan Yusuf. Thank you so much, Father, for this promise. And I declare it yes and amen. Bahashem Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen.